Five ways to vent. We all get aggravated every once in a while. We experience anger and seek ways to vent. But venting can be positive or negative. Here are a few ways to vent positively. Write. It is always good to write. Writing allows you to air out your feelings. It allows you to say what you want, even if no one sees or hears it. Also, when you write it, it becomes part of your history and you can always go back and read it. In reviewing your writing, you may find a solution to what made you upset in the first place. Sing. A lot of people say it's good to yell when venting, but to me, singing is just as effective and more fun. Nothing beats singing. Think about it. You find music that seeks, that speaks to you and sing to the lyrics. Eventually, you're no longer angry and just enjoying listening to music. Without realizing it, your mood changes. That is the power of music. Exercise. Turn your negative energy into positive energy by working out. When the pressure starts to build, you can always work it off by running, doing sit-ups, stretching, or simply walking it off. Exercise is a good way to release stress as well as keep your body physically fit. You can also do Thai Boa Karate. Take a bath. After a long stressful day, you have to remove the dirt and get comfortable. Run a bath with bubbles or your favorite scented bath oils. Dim the lights and light some candles. If you like lavender, you can even pour that in the water too. When all else fails, try Epsom salt. The object is to get you as relaxed as possible. Get in the tub and allow the water to wash all your frustrations away. When you get out of the tub, you should be completely relaxed. Talk about it. Always keep one person that you can vent your problems or anger to. If you do not have that type of person in your life, then just vent to yourself out loud. You are not seeking any feedback. You just want to say what is upsetting you to release it from within you. Sometimes the best way to vent is by yourself. It gives you the opportunity to hear yourself out loud and perhaps through your venting, you can find a solution or compromise. These are just five simple steps that I use on a regular basis or when needed rather, to vent or air my frustrations. Thank you so much for listening, and if this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to click the link in the bottom, which will have some additional information that may help you as well.